In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate cash flows from investing when you're putting together a statement of cash flows. So cash flow from investing is the net cash that's provided or used up by the purchase or sale of things like fixed assets, for example, equipment, machinery, any kind of PP&E, or it could be securities, available for sale securities, some type of long-term investment, any kind of investment, the net cash that's provided by the sale of that investment or that fixed asset, or that's used up in buying fixed assets or investments, that's gonna go in this, this cash flow from investing category. So if we think about kind of the hierarchy with our statement of cash flows, we're gonna start out with cash flow from operations, and then we're gonna have the cash flow from investing, and then the financing is going to be the final piece. So we're, we're concentrating right now on this, this middle component, the cash flows from investing. So let's walk through an example, make it a little easier for you to understand. Let's say that we've got a company called Bob's Manufacturing, and Bob's going to have the, the following things happen with his company this year. He's going to sell equipment, so some kind of PP&E, say it's equipment that he uses as part of property, plant, and equipment, and he's going to sell that for $10,000. And he's going to have a, a $700 loss on that equipment, and we're going to talk about how that's dealt with in a moment because that's a little bit interesting. He's also going to purchase a truck, and that's going to cost $22,000, and he's going to buy land for $34,000. So now we want to put together that investing section of the statement of cash flows. We want to say what's the net cash effect from the investments that we have. So we're going to start out with this equipment sale. Okay, So we've, we've sold this equipment and we've sold it for $10,000. So when we think what's the cash effect, well our proceeds from the sale of the equipment is $10,000. Now you might think, hey that's pretty simple, but, but what about this loss here? How do we deal with that? Well if you think about it, this loss, this is just an accounting loss, right? If we're just thinking on a cash basis, cash alone, what happened? We received $10,000. That's it. That's the cash effect. But this $700 loss, right? So this is an accounting effect, but it reduced our net income, right? Because it, it, was, a, it was like an expense almost, right? So it reduced our net income on the, on the income statement. So what's going to happen is this is going to be added back, but it's going to be added back to net income as an adjustment in the operating section. So when we do the, the net cash flow from operating, uh, that's when we actually we add back this loss because it was an accounting effect that's not a cash effect. And then in the investing section, which is what we're doing right now, this investing activity part, we just have the $10,000 proceeds from the sale of equipment. So we do, we do factor in this loss. We actually back it out and add it back right, to get rid of it. But that's in the operating section, which we're not dealing with right now. So we've got the 10,000 proceeds from the sale of equipment. That's a positive cash flow here. Now, we purchased a truck for $22,000. Now, because we purchased it, that's a, that's a negative cash outflow. So we're going to put that in parentheses to, to emphasize that this is a use of cash, right? This is negative. We used $22,000. And the same with the land. So the land was $34,000, but we paid that. And so we're going to have negative $34,000 here. So now what we do is when we do this cash flows from investing activities, we want the net cash flow from investing activities. And so the net is going to be net the 46,000. And again, I'm just putting this in parentheses to emphasize that this is a negative number. What I mean by negative is we're saying it's the net cash used up by investing activities. So when we look at all our investing activities for that period, we actually used more cash than what we generated. Now, had, we, had it actually been the reverse, had, had this number actually been positive, that if this was a positive 46,000, then we would say net cash provided by investing activities.